Uh, when last we left off with your character, obviously, I mean, it was it was a crushing blow. She felt like she kind of found herself, only to have that completely turned and, you know, have uh, the grounders kind of reject her. So she's back with the group when the season begins, but she never really felt like she fit in. So how is she adjusting or not adjusting to this situation? Well, a lot of things have changed for Octavia in season three. Um, she's at conflict with herself. They're at conflict with each other. Her relationship is having issues um, for the one person that's with the one person that's really ever only accepted Octavia um, for who she is. So there's a lot of ups and downs with her character, and it's a crazy ride. And you're you're gonna have to tune in to see what happens. I feel like I was thinking about the fact that, you know, obviously when Lincoln was introduced, uh, he he went through some issues uh, adjusting with this group too, and then they never really were just around with everyone. There were so many times and they were kind of split off and he was taken. So yeah, I mean, they, they have each other going into this season, but is it, you know, as simple as that? Or is he finding maybe his own place now with the bigger group and she has to figure that out too? Well, especially now that the group keeps getting bigger... <laughs> Um, with all these new characters being introduced and, and, and trying to mesh together as this functioning society, which on the 100 never is functioning. Um, um, that's Lincoln in included. Um, he was always seen as an outsider, and that's what makes his character so special as well, that he's this you know, forbidden man, and that's why Octavia took the, the forbidden fruit in the first place. It's, right. It's bittersweet. Is she finding, um, is there, you know, her brother's there, obviously, but, but so is she getting along with him, and is there anyone else she's able to, uh, in any way, sort of connect to, or find maybe some other rapport with? She finds safety in Bellamy for a lot of reasons, same as any, any sibling duo. Um, mm -hmm. You can confide in them, you can feel comfortable around them, but they're also the person you can feel the most comfortable when, you know, crap hits the fan and you really want to let them have it. Mm -hmm. So, just like any siblings, you're going to see the rivalry um, they disagree on a lot of major issues that are really fundamental to Octavia, so um, they will be at odds as well, for sure, to say the least. The transformation of Octavia has been sort of one of the most amazing and coolest things, I think, on the show to see, uh, you know, will there be more transformation in season three? Yeah, she's sort of a chameleon character, which is so much fun um, for me as an actor to play her. Um, just because I never put her in gear and just continue to drive forward. She's always evolving, um, which I really appreciate of, of the writing um, with Octavia. Plus I get to swing swords and ride horses, so um, my job's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta let me to my next question, which is, yeah, the action side of it. I mean, you had that awesome moment in the finale, the sliding down on your knees uh, down the hallway. Uh, is this show continuing to kind of throw things at you action-wise? Oh to... yeah, my, my stunt repertoire of skills that I just have in my back pocket that I've learned and taken from this show is, is really amazing and something I pride myself on to be doing all my own action um, because it's fun. I'm, I'm a big kid at heart and I've always been an athlete and love to play sports so um, I'm always down to get dirty and roll around in the mud for the show or do whatever is necessary. It's fun. Is she, does she have any sort of hope of maybe getting accepted again by or does that just seem like that they, it was a cut off and she can't even well it's something she worked so hard towards and it wasn't just necessarily for the point of fitting in like some you know very immature goal that she had she did it for herself because growing up under the floor she didn't really belong anywhere as the second child she was already illegal and then the other mm -hmm. kids sort of treated her differently as well and she was the black sheep but um she really found acceptance with those people, at least she thought she did, to find out it just got thrown back in her face. So she's going to have to mend that hole in her heart somehow, and it's pretty interesting the way that she finds um, peace within herself. What can you say about the introduction of uh, Allie and the whole AI idea? Because we just got this little glimpse of it at the end of last season, but it seems like a very sort of interesting, bold place for the show to go. Does it really change things? It definitely changes things. Um, change things for me because I've never been into sci-fi whatsoever. I don't like Star Trek. I don't like Star Wars. I don't. I like the stars at night when I'm around a campfire, and that's about it. Nothing on TV. Um, so it's a little confusing for me at first, but I think it's just, you know, it really goes to show you the the different levels and layers that this show really has. That we just have the ability to shock the viewer and take the stories with a hard left or a right and 
keep expanding this phenomenal world that uh, the creators have made for the, for the viewers. Mm -hmm.